Consider a neighborhood where crime rates have dropped over time. Initially, the residents celebrated the decrease in major crimes such as assaults and burglaries. However, when these major crimes became less prevalent, the residents began to focus more on minor crimes such as littering and noise complaints, regarding the minor crimes as serious threats. Or consider Alex whose fitness has improved over time. Initially, he might celebrate small milestones such as going for a daily walk. However, when these small milestones became more prevalent, he began to focus more on big milestones, such as intense workouts, disregarding the small milestones as valid successes. Both of these are examples of what is known as the blue dot effect. The blue dot effect is the popular name for prevalence-induced concept change. In turn, prevalence-induced concept change is the phenomenon that individuals change their definitions of a concept if the prevalence of instances of the concept changes. On the one hand, if instances of a concept become less prevalent, then individuals broaden their definitions of the concept to include instances that were previously excluded. For example, the residents in the neighborhood broadened their definitions of serious threats to include minor crimes such as littering and noise complaints. On the other hand, if instances of a concept become more prevalent, then individuals narrow their definitions of the concept to exclude instances that were previously included. For example, Alex narrowed his definition of valid successes to exclude small milestones, such as going for a daily walk. The BDE was reported in a series of experiments conducted by David Lavari, Daniel Gilbert, Timothy Wilson, Bo Sievers, David Amodio, and Thalia Wheatley from Harvard University. In the first experiment, the researchers presented participants with a sequence of dots, each with a different level of blueness and instructed them to identify whether each dot was blue. For the first few dots, the researchers did not change the prevalence of blue dots. However, for the last few dots, the researchers decreased the prevalence of blue dots. The researchers reported that participants were more likely to identify a given dot as blue after the prevalence change as compared to before the prevalence change. In the second experiment, the researchers presented participants with a sequence of faces, each with a different level of threat and instructed them to identify whether each face was threatening. For the first few faces, the researchers did not change the prevalence of threatening faces. However, for the last few faces, the researchers decreased the prevalence of threatening faces. The researchers reported that participants were more likely to identify a given face as threatening after the prevalence change as compared to before the prevalence change. In the third experiment, the researchers presented participants with a sequence of actions, each with a different level of unethicality, and instructed them to identify whether each action was unethical. For the first few actions, the researchers did not change the prevalence of unethical actions. However, for the last few actions, the researchers decreased the prevalence of unethical actions. The researchers reported that participants were more likely to identify a given action as unethical after the prevalence change as compared to before the prevalence change. The blue dot effect suggests that our definitions are fluid and adapt to changes to what we encounter around us. Someone raised in a hostile environment may develop heightened sensitivity to threats, viewing the world through a lens of caution and defensiveness. Conversely, others nurtured in safety and warmth often see the world as a place of opportunity and trust. By understanding this phenomenon, we can become more aware of our shifting standards and strive to maintain a more balanced perspective, appreciate improvements, and maintain realistic expectations. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.